Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today, uh, I want to show you guys how to design a commission sheet um, for your commissions. And uh, here is an example. This is i5k's commission sheet. We have done this video before, but that was over a year ago, I think so. This is a new one. Um, I would like to do multiple of these uh, commission sheet tutorials in the future because there are different styles, but this is the most, I guess you could say, beginner friendly one and uh, it also works really well so i'm gonna show you guys how to make this so without further ado let's get right into it first things first make sure you have photoshop open you can also use photopea that is a free alternative online so if you go to photopea.com it is like a free version of photoshop so uh it works pretty much the same way except with uh, a lot less features but i think you can still pull it off so first things first i'm gonna click on the background i'm gonna go to my color and i'm gonna go for a dark gray so ours is all the way black but we're just gonna move it up to a nice dark gray i'm gonna stay right here now we're gonna hit alt and backspace this is going to fill our canvas with the gray color all right so next we're gonna want an image um you can use any render of yours uh that, that could work if you want to use somebody else's I suppose you can if you have permission. I don't suggest it, but uh, yeah. So for me, I'm just gonna use my own render I have here. And now our window is we're going to drop the opacity. So now we have a nice little um, image in the background. Okay, now we're gonna hit new layer. We're gonna go for our gradient tool. Uh, it is this tool right here. So click on that. And we're gonna turn off uh, reverse if you have it on. Let's click on uh, the first option right here. Now over here, you're gonna wanna click this one. So foreground to transparent. Obviously the color is black. Also make sure you make your color fully black, by the way. We're gonna go down, click, and we're just gonna drag up. And this will make a nice little uh, gradient. And we're just gonna turn this down. So now we have an effect like this. Next on Google, you're gonna wanna look for Sunray's wallpaper, um, like I found one here. And we're just going to drop this to screen mode. If you hit Control U, you could move the saturation, this image. Now you see we have a very nice Sunray. Now we're gonna start adding some text, so hit your text tool right here. Uh, let's put thumbnails. Right over here on the left side, I'm going to add the Robux logo, obviously. Um, hold control, click on the icon, make your color white, and just go all backspace, backspace, control D. Now we have the Robux um, icon and the color white. So thumbnails, you can put any price you want. Um, I'm just gonna put a random number here. Obviously, don't charge every 5k. There's only uh, only a certain amount of people that can charge 35k. But thumbnails actually you can go full capital. So right here, this is uh, pretty clean. You can keep this over here. And now to make the boxes, uh, make a new layer. Let's go for rounded rectangle. Make your radius. Let's try 10. Fill is on and stroke is off. Uh, the color does not matter. Uh, you can just do white or black, doesn't matter. Anyways, just drag out some shapes like this. Let's just go for one, two, three. Uh, we'll scale these down together. Make sure they are nice, like this. Now you want to paste in a work of yours and place the layer above the rectangle that you want it um, to go into. We're going to hit Ctrl T to, to scale this down. And we're going to right click. Let's hit, let's hit create clipping mask. And as you can see, this will clip the work into the frame. Um, and continue to scale this down. And now we're going to right click on the shape, put on your options. And right here, we're going to hit stroke. And here on stroke, you could change the color of your outline, you do white. You can also right click, copy layer style, click on the second uh, shape, hold control, click on the third one, 
right click and hit paste layer style so just fill up these rectangles these frames with the images of your choice your work obviously and also if you want you could also add a gradient to the text with a gradient overlay let's just bring this up to 90 and we can make the gradient something a bit more pleasant a bit lighter like that Got a nice little stroke. Just gonna zoom in. Maybe inner shadow, like white with overlay. So we get this little um, text effect here, like that. All right, next we're just gonna hold Control click. We're going to Control J to copy these two. Move uh, this down. Move these two down, and we'll change this to icons or anything else you want to add, like UI. Um, this one, change the price. And now let's make sure these are all sized properly. I'm just gonna resize these just a bit. And I'm gonna take these same rectangles, I'm gonna copy this one. Now we're just gonna make these into squares, and these will be your icons. All right, so I just added some icons. And as you can see, this is what we have so far. You can take everything, make sure it is positioned uh, nicely. Obviously, you can add. Obviously, you can add more icons if you want to. But now we're just gonna finish everything up by adding a new layer. Um, this part is optional, but you could use your brush tool, and you could just paint some colors in the background. Oops! <laughs> make sure your hardness is all the way down. Opacity and flow is also about halfway down and from here you just Paint some colors You can mix some colors up if you want to you keep the same uh, Let's go for a soft little red This Change the most to overlay Actually, I'm gonna just have the blue change the most to overlay Control J to copy again, copy again, and change the screen. And also, you can add your watermark anywhere uh, in these corners, of course. And yeah, that is basically it. That is how you can make a very nice uh, looking commission sheet. Also, very functional. It shows your work, your prices, very um, clean, straight to the point. And like I said at the start of uh, this video, I want to make more of these in the future. So. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.